has been playing in my head for a very long time. There's one more. There's one more. One more that's playing in my head. We'll get to the conversation anyway. Let's listen to this one, yeah? And we'll come back. This one too is good, though. Listen to this one. Great song, uh, Banky W, Timmy Dakolo, Two Facey Divya, Sharon Kuti, YJ, Talk and Do, that's another song. Now we can talk, now that I've gotten that out of my system, uh, yeah, we can talk now. Let's talk Sheikh Kumi's interview on Nigeria in Abuja. This is Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. 
we have to incorporate them into the security system. Pay them salary. Yes, they're Nigeria. The government should be ready for that. What if Nigerians say, well, we do not want this sort of thing because you guys okay, are... Okay, then Nigerians should be ready to, uh, to be kidnapped and nobody is going to protect them because nobody controls that bush. Nobody. You can't see any kind of siblings of any governance there. That's why they feel safe there. So the best thing is just to negotiate with these people. They are human. They want normal life. The ball is in the court of the government now. I'm telling you, 100%. There's nothing you can do, 100%. The ball is in the court of the government. Negotiate with them, pay them, incorporate them into the security system, or be ready to get kidnapped. Sheikh Gumi there, live with SWAT on Morning Crossfire Abuja. Uh, and uh, he had a lot to say. He said so many things about the fact that our security system is stretched right now. These guys understand the forest more than the government. There is no government in the forest, so they're in charge in the forest. If you want to stop kidnapping, pay them incorporate them in the security architecture he's delivering the message of the bandits he was with the bandits the other time um having a meeting with them uh, we saw we all saw the pictures and all yeah well he's come out now to say this is what i came back with from my meeting i i had with the bandits they want to be incorporated into the security system they want to be paid okay that's our conversation today on the morning crossfire uh one thing that is coming to my mind right now is to try and bring you the full interview uh perhaps we'll do that on monday uh and uh, you know bring the full interview to you on the morning crossfire so you can listen to everything um that is said on nigeria info fm abuja but in the meantime i'd like to know your thoughts your honest assessment of that uh the post that we have on facebook is going insane right now the comments there i can't even read um five percent of that comment that i have on facebook already twitter too is on overdrive so i will try as much as possible to take as many comments as i can on the show but if you like to join via the telephone uh the number is 0700-993-993-993 that is a studio line if you called me earlier because we started this conversation at 5 a.m um please let others call in right now those that have been trying for weeks that have been trying for days now. Those have been trying all morning, but they couldn't get through. Let's allow them to get through and share their thoughts in 60 seconds. 15 minutes come past the hour on a Thursday morning. Let's talk security or insecurity, if you like. Do you subscribe to the suggestion that bandits should be incorporated into the security system? I mean, you can make them forest guards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, or not, <laughs> and be paid as well. Uh, what's your thoughts on this? Sheon is joining us. Sheon, thank you um, for joining us this morning. It's good to have you on the show um, today. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir, Mr. Shi. Welcome. Good morning. Yeah. My name is Sheon, calling from Ojota. Good to have you. Yeah. Concerning this um, security issue, the one you played just now. So the government, they should incorporate them, incorporate them to the system and start paying them salary. Mm. For what reason? What's the reason? Okay, what is their ideology for doing it, for doing such a thing? Is mm. there any ideology? Mm. 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 That is what we should be. Okay. Asking. Okay. All is right. Any ideology? Yeah. I want to let me please, let me just take two minutes of your time. No, you you have like thirty seconds left. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Like a friend of mine was kidnapped. Okay. In Delta State. Mm. What I the question I asked that was like the people that kidnapped you. What language are they speaking? Mm -hmm. You see, there were 12 in numbers. Each had three, three, AK-47. Are you getting me? One, one of them was speaking the plain English. It shows that the community... Are you getting me? Yeah, I'm with you. The, the people in that community, they are working hand-to-hand with the bandits. Okay. Are you getting me? I'm with you. So, I don't, I don't support the fact that Shinko mm -hmm. leads them into the security system and start paying them. No. I don't support that. All right, Shem. Thank you for calling me. Sambo is here. Sambo, good morning to you. Good morning. Morning to you. Yeah, this is Sambo from Ipeji. Good to have you. Let's talk. What do you think? Yeah. My take is that, um, actually, I want to say two things. One, it is a politician that is causing what is happening today in the country, just like Uncle Jimmy said. And they know the way they have to stop it, so they should go ahead and stop it. Hmm. That is on that side. Secondly, I I want to I mean I create a little awareness to the government of this state for what is happening in this side, the Juleki. 
the kind of hold up that we are passing through in this area is terribly too much. Mm. One, it is caused by the, uh, the so-called Yagbo the South. Two, it is caused by the caused by the Okada. Okay. And so-called the Teke. The government has banned them, and they still come out. Yesterday, I when I was hello. I, I am so sorry. I mean, yesterday, I, I want I want to hear your concerns, but hey, that will be taking us to another level. I'm sure everybody has their traffic story to tell me. But that's not the focus today, Sambo. Thank you. Shamuiwa uh, is here uh, with us from VI. Shamuiwa, good morning to you. Morning to you. Morning to you, sir. Hmm. So, uh, the, the, the Gumi, he said that uh, those people want a normal life. Right. Who, who is not giving them the normal life before? before? Who collected the normal life from them? I mean, I don't understand. Mm. Do you remember the, some few months back, JTF, the one in Bonu, yeah. three of them, three, three hundred of them were were uh, put into the Nigerian army. Mm. And you know, then I said, this is this how you recruit? Mm. It's not. It's, I mean, this thing doesn't tell you now. It's not. I mean, what? What? How did we even get to this stage? Now, this one again have now come up. They want to be in in the security and you'll be paying them i don't understand so mm. when you when the gumi he speaks like a very knowledgeable person now he did not calculate that when you now carry these people and put in the so so tomorrow now some other people will now come yeah. come, come again and mm. come and say that okay. i mean what is wrong with us so we are long ah good morning to you thank you for calling me frank is joining us on my job frank good morning to you good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Yeah. So, these people who want them to be paying salary, mm. and the so-called the government or the, uh, the the government want to pay. No, the, the government has not said they would do anything, no. But they have the chance to be negotiating with criminal bandits. A government I call their self government that's supposed to protect the country. They want to be paying criminals. They have not said they are paying criminals. They have not said, but they are negotiating. They are not the ones that even went. It, that, that was done by Sheikh Gumi himself on his own capacity as a okay. scholar and a respected cleric. But, it is, but, it, but government knows where they are. And they don't want to do anything. No, that's... And they are, and they, they are even... Planning to come back the next turn. Ha! Oh, you see that bush and that has a rock. I'm seeing a very big fire coming up to catch them there. And it, it no go pass this year next year. Bye bye. Don't go and burn somewhere. Mbai is joining us. Mbai, good morning to you. Shelly, good morning. Good morning to you. Shelly, please, uh, I want to ask a question, please. The, the man that went to the forest to see the bandits yeah. to negotiate with them, is he the bandit that invite him, or is him that just supposedly went there for himself? I have no information okay, regarding okay, that. Th okay, thank you. Which means those people, those Notana Edda, which means they know what they are doing. This is a game. Which means they know it now. How, how did you how did you arrive at that? Because I just told you that I have no answer for you. The reason why I live on it, I believe that Nigeria is hearing me. That the man that went there, and my question is that what convinced me to say this is because is it a bandit that invited him? But you don't that even is, know yourself, do you? Uh, uh, yes, that is. It's a contrary. It's a contrary. Is it the bandit that invited him or? That them, they know they actually know the particular place that those bandits is. That they, that they, even the bandit cannot kidnap them, but they have right to kidnap others. But in this game, in this game, Shelif and Nigerians is the only the Easterners are play foolishness in this game. Hmm. They are the only most foolish people. The Easterners leaders are most. No, no I, 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 will, I will, I will, I will, I will take exception to you attacking people. Uh, okay, perhaps, so perhaps you should be guided in how you say okay, things. I'm I mean, th there are ways I'm to sorry. say things and uh, that won't come across as offensive. You have been seeing how people on radio now, but there are things that you can, there are ways, not, please, desist from that. Next, I, I'm sure you, you know better. Uh, Demola, let's speak to Demola. Demola, hi, good morning to you. Hi, Sheriff, good morning to you. Morning to you. 
Yeah, um, it's a very interesting one this morning. Mm. I need to come out straight. All right. You know, the truth is, the way um, the Nigerian government and uh, the politicians play around... Okay, let me just say the politicians mm. use our head mm. in this country. It's a very interesting one. Now, there's this problem here, our local Kowaja. Mm. Yeah, that, that's just the truth. What's the meaning so of that? In case, to, in case somebody doesn't okay, understand, now, yeah. In case somebody, do, okay, like you call the thief. I mean, you're the one who invited the thief into the house. Then you call the police to come and arrest the thief. Okay. That's just what the that that's the clear explanation of what is happening in Nigeria. Is. Mm. God help us. Good morning. Demola, thank you for calling me. Appreciate it. Uche, hi. Good morning to you. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning Shay. to you. Yeah. Let me just go straight to my contribution okay. i i think i think um i think what is playing out is is a neglect to nigeria's unity hmm. by some northern elements okay. okay okay the reason i'm saying this is that a man named Kat ononuju he speaks several languages and he has confirmed several times hmm. in katuna State that these bandits are not even nigerian hmm. now Kat ononuju is an, is an evil man so he's not it's not like he's uh, i know him yeah anything. i know him hmm. so he said that these guys are not Nigerian. Why do we want to incorporate non Nigerians into our military? Mm, mm. Our military is already bastardized. We are hearing stories of people who are not even loyal to Nigeria as military men. People who would who would who would, you know, draw back in attacking Boko Haram. And then we want to further exacerbate the situation by adding more elements that we know clearly are terrorists. What do you mean by inculcate them into the military apparatus? I don't what know. kind of suggestion is that? Mm. Okay, we can say pay them and send them back to their country. But how can we now want to incorporate? Now, uh, some of these suggestions are just are just playing them nasty. Richie, Richie, calm down. Hey, so good morning to you. Hello, good, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, how are you doing? Very well, very yeah, well. Yeah, concerning this topic. Yes, um, please. Whereas. Personally, I appreciate the effort in diagnosing what may be the cause for the the insurgents right. in in the north. Right. The kidnapping, all those activities there. As far as I'm concerned, they mm. are product of of um, um, bad governance. Mm. Now, mm. in in identifying this problem, Sheikh Gumi simply in his statement meant i understand he meant to say that the cause of this problem is majorly maybe idleness joblessness and um, poverty mm. but the solution also has to be such that will not neg uh, negate um, um good citizenship yeah how do you bring criminals into an organization like the military a, 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 a parastata or an organization that is known that has reputation for integrity, for honesty, for discipline, mm. you know, for sincerity. You bring criminals for whatever reasons to join them. What about the standards? Some of those guys in the military have gone through school, mm -hmm. military training for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And then you bring criminals from the bush to join them. Tomorrow they become generals. They become chief of army staff. Mm. Or they want to become, I mean, for goodness sake, why this double standard? In a country that is that that is looking forward to be progressive, why this double standard? Do they want to kill our system completely? This is an eyesore. It's unacceptable. Mm. It should be thrown out. Those mm. guys are criminals and must be treated as such. If there is any consideration that has to be given to them, yeah. it should not be to join a respectable organization as our military right. or to be paid any form of salary. Everybody has to work and work hard. Thank Let you. them go and look for legit legitimate work. Thank and you. Do. Thank, thank you. So thank much. you so much, Esu, for calling me. Appreciate it. Um Gabriel, uh I am sorry I can't take your call right now because I need to go on a break. If you can wait on the line, please stay on the line. If you can't then you probably need to call me back. Okay. I really apologize. I'll be back. For area eh? Hey, hey, hey. Then they call me Baba 22. If you look my JC number 22, my KK plate number and call 22. My house number. Of course, I take cash for number 22. Eh? Well, 
But you savvy what you really made them they call me Baba 22? Uh -huh. Now because I they grew 22 times bonus on top of every recharge. Yes, so if you don't tell where you use your glow line, reactivate now, make you be gay, show your own of go get 22 times bonus on top of every recharge. Oh. <laughs> it's a pay to reactivate your glow line. Oh. Glow unloaded. You get to win money. You get to win 10,000 Naira cash on the Just a Minute Game Show. Call in to any of our shows. The Morning Crossfire, What's Up Lego, The Sunny Side, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible in 60 seconds and you stand a chance to win 10,000 Naira. Winner will be announced on Hard Facts. Just a Minute, the game show for everyone. Right here on your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Powered by Credit Deal. Uncle Dan Dentist, what are cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it use Kung Fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by tooth holes called cavities. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... Yes, no, it is! Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. Some say leaders are born, others say leaders are made. At Olashere, we shape leaders. For 27 years, Olashere International School has shaped future leaders by its immersive learning approach, guiding them on the path of greatness through innovative and well-rounded education that cuts across academic, extracurricular, and leadership skills. Your child should be next. Enrollment is ongoing and we are looking forward to welcoming another potential game changer and nurturing him or her on this path. For on-site enrollment, exam date is Saturday 20th of February 2021 at Lagos Lasting Office at Jose Adilgo Street, Victoria Island by 10 a.m. For inquiries or more information, visit our website www.olashereschool.com or contact us on 07-450-3992 Olashere International School. 27 Seven years of leading transformation. I won't tell you the secret of better food. Nadi. No chicken and classic seasoning powder. The ingredient they take make a me. Na natural by nature. Like real chicken. Rosemary. Black and white peppers. Garlic onion. Parsley. Mushroom. Coriander. If you knock no seasoning powder for inside your jollof. Fried rice. Egusi. And all other soup. Eh? You go no say flavor. Fast flavor. No seasoning powder. Natural by ingredients. Banga by flavor. It's a new day, a new beginning. As you prepare for the day ahead, just any theme is not enough for a delightful, healthy start. Start your day right with Tola and your Eva. Taste free vitamins and nutrients. Life is so different with you. Tola and your Eva. Colandia Eva milk, right nutrients for a healthy breakfast. Hey, Doredo, better than self. Now, 10 gigabyte data just like my ATL so. Guess how much? 3,000 naira. 3K, where for 10 gigabyte data? You sure can be? Make I add extra shock. 5,000 naira go give you 20 gigabyte data. Now, so be self for shock. That's right. With Airtel Data, just a little more gets you so much more. Introducing Airtel Board for More Data Plans, like 10 gigabytes for just 3,000 Naira and 20 gigabytes for 5,000 Naira. Dial star one for one hash today. Airtel, the smartphone network. Now we're back on the morning crossfire. <laughs> Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Today's show is number one talk station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Uh, we're back on the show. Let's see if we still have Gabriel here. Uh, Gabriel, are you still here? Hi, Gabriel. Okay, I think Gabriel is gone. Gabriel, are you here? Okay. Gabriel is gone. Gabriel, do try and call us back. Okay. In case you're just tuning in, ah, you're welcome. We're discussing the interview. Sheikh Gumi granted Nigeria Info FM um, uh, some hours ago. Uh, and uh, they spoke about his meeting with bandits. He had a lot to say. He said our military is stretched. Our security um, um, agencies are stretched. 
uh, the bandits requesting for um, some form of amnesty and to be incorporated into the security system uh, and then be paid salary. Uh, that will bring an end to the kidnappings and the killings and the maiming and the looting that they currently are doing. Um, and he said, otherwise, we should be ready to get kidnapped. In his own words. Eh? You don't believe? Okay, take a listen to him then. Take a listen. We have to incorporate them into the security system. Pay them salary. Yes, they're Nigeria. The government should be ready for that. What if Nigerians say, well, we do not want this sort of thing because you guys okay, are... Okay, then Nigerians should be ready to, uh, to be kidnapped. And nobody is going to protect them because nobody controls that bush. Nobody. You can't see any kind of semblance of any governance there. That's why they feel safe there. So the best thing is just to negotiate with these people. They are humans. They want normal life. The ball is in the court of the government now. I'm telling you, 100%. If you called me earlier on, please don't call me again because we started this conversation at 5 a.m. So um, let's give others a chance to call. Uh, Babari Ray is calling me from Abelkuta. Babari Ray, good morning to you. Yes, I'm calling you from Abelkuta in Abelkuta. Babari Ray, I greet you. You see, I've listened to that man's statement. Uh, I cannot show the way the total statement of that man. At least there's a need for the government, honestly. To so sit these people down, come on the dialogue, my brother. If not so, this thing will go, this banditry will go on for years and for years. Mm -hmm. Sit them down, not actually giving in to what they demand. They sit them down and see, tell them that this thing you are engaging yourself in cannot do the country any good. So we are ready to work with you. And I can give you places that this type of thing has worked out. We are ready to, you know, it, it, carry you along, but then your demand that uh, you should be incorporated into the security apparatus of the country, uh, that cannot be possible. But this is where and where we can, you know, cater for you. And if we talk to them, like, you know, in one of the South American countries, I don't know, Shining Park, whether Colombia, the, the gorillas, the, you know, there was a time they were really going to war, demanding for their own separate things, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. going into different criminalities. But then the government sat them down, my brother. They talked worse into their head. And I saw when they were now, you know, releasing their arms and yeah. ammunition. Mm -hmm. You know, giving them, the, 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 the government their arms and ammunition. Mm. Right now, there's no problem in that country again. Mm. So this is the type of thing we can do. I okay. cannot talk even of uh, in Turkey, mm. when Abdullah Ojola was the leader of the PKK. Though he's in jail now, but because of the discussion, dialogue, with that group, yes, there's peace. In, you can never hear about PK. So, in, we, so we, we should we should dialogue with them. O only that yes, we can't we can't incorporate them into the security they system. Giving in, so okay. they'll say you want to incorporate them into the Nigeria security. I hear you, Babariri. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too for calling me. Uh, let's go to Facebook. I am TK from Abuja. TK says I listened to the interview yesterday yesterday morning. Uh, the suggestion. Hmm, okay, he said the suggestion. Uh, this thing is okay. Suggestion to incorporate the bandits into the security system is laughable, uh, but what do we do if our government forces uh, are overwhelmed? If we can defeat them, fine, but if we can't, um, if we cannot let them do, uh, let's make do, mm. let's go with their terms to, to stay alive. Okay, all right. Quite difficult getting through your messages, though. Uh, Joseph is in Badagri. Joseph, hi. Good morning to you. Morning, Joseph. Joseph, are you there? I'm sorry, Joseph. I can't hear you. I have a feeling that you're there, but I can't hear uh, anything from your um, site there. I'm going to go to Twitter right now. If you're tweeting me, I can see your tweet. Mm. Uh, if you don't have the hashtag on your tweet or in your tweet feel free to do that right away and resend otherwise i won't be able to see it okay um lovelyn uh on twitter says sheriff gumi should be arrested and uh, be put um to end to unending jail judgment why why should why should that happen he didn't say anything really nothing concrete exactly um from your comments here uh lovelyn but thank you for sharing your thought appreciate it let's take another thought here on um twitter before we go to uh, WhatsApp very quickly this morning, quite a number of them that I'm seeing here today. Okay, so here we go with this one here. Uh, this person says, mm, seriously, 
that's all he's got to say. I know Tony Bo additional says that um, uh, Shehu sounded like he's their spokesman. Suspiciously, he should be arrested. It's quite unwise to pay mandatory like this. Incorporating those who've been said to be foreigners and criminals into military, others should be more encouraged. That's so dangerous. Uh, and Tony Bo sent that in. Ikenwa is here from Alaba. Ikenwa, good morning to you. Yeah, oh, good morning. This is uh, Iken mm. Welcome, Iken. Iken yeah, thank you, Sheriff. See, Sheriff, the reason why we are still discussing this today is because the person in question is a not a full animal. Let me tell you, if this year Gumi happened to be a South Anna, especially from the Southeast, mm. he would have been in detention by now. Are you listening to me? Well, we don't know that exactly, but go on. But, 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 Sheriff, you either believe it or you leave it. Mm. That's the fact. You understand? For look at look at how bold this man is telling Nigerians that they should get ready to be kidnapped, and nothing has happened to him. Not even an invitation by the DSF. Mm. It's quite unfortunate that this is where we have found ourselves as a Nigerian. But let me see how far they will go with all these things they are doing. And let me tell you this before I drop, Sheriff. Yeah. The reason why they are doing all this is they want to put all these criminal elements into the military. So maybe probably by 2023, if a southern president emerges, this criminal element in the military will be disturbing him and take it or leave it. But remember this word that I put, I'm telling you today. Thank you very much, Sheriff. Thank you too for calling me. I appreciate it. You can, uh, Esther is joining us right now. Esther, hi. Good morning to you. Good morning, Esther. Esther. Hello, this show. Oh, Esther, I can't hear you. I'm a first time caller. First time caller, Esther. Welcome. Welcome. I'm, I'm waiting for your contribution, Esther. I don't support the bandits being included in the GS security force. Okay, you are not in support of the bandits being incorporated into the security system. Yes. Okay, Esther. Thank you for calling me. I appreciate that. I'm going to go talk to Femi. Femi is um, close by here in Sri Lanka. Hi, Femi. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sheriff. Morning to you. Uh, good morning. Um, it's very funny how we accept statements in this country and mm. we want um, things to just lie like that. Mm. Uh, this will hit better if I speak in Yoruba. Okay. Ni luto loba toni joye. Toni joye niyo. Can imagine mm. what audacity somebody comes out that, oh, Yes, they are criminals. We should put them in our military. That is what he's saying indirectly. Because, look at, it is very easy. They need a job. They need to be integrated in, as uh, humans. Yeah. Let them get a job. They have jobs in the bush there. Let them be clearing the bush and, and be farming there. Yes, job. and be making food and be productive to this country. Hmm. Instead of just trying to lay their hand indirectly into the cookie jar. Mm. Everybody wants the piece of the national cake, and that is what these people are doing. They are trying to use that means, oh, free money, they free. Mm. Let us find our own way to get our own money from the government. Indirectly, that is what it is. If you give these people real-life jobs, they would not do it. Mm. And that is how the um, issue of militancy and so many other um, people, bandits and all that, that is what they do. Right. Because they want money that comes free. Mm. Free, no tax, and they are not working, not doing anything. Okay. That is what is happening. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Femi, for calling me. Uh, Achimele is joining us right now. Achimele, good morning to you. Yes, good morning, Mr. Shea. Morning, Shere. morning to you. You see, we, we, we as a citizen in this country now, mm. we are seeing all the men that is happening. But to my surprise, our media practitioner, mm. Mr. Sheriff, mm. I'm mm. talking about your colleagues in this country. Okay. Likewise, likewise, the educated people in this country. Mm. We are all seeing all the discriminatory policy and doing in which our leaders, they are like trying to like portray. And we all, we are keeping quiet. Mr. Sheriff, I called, I called because of a particular color that we are like communicating with you in terms of this is what they are more or less trying to do. It's as if you are more or less standing and saying, maybe, how is this sure? Yes. What does he mean by how is this sure what he's saying? I will not be saying all these things. Hmm. In, which, in which sense is a criminal, a criminal will be burdened 
to hold AK-47, kidnap and kill it. Nobody is talking about the family of the victims. And now, our so-called people that are in charge of realm of affairs, they are thinking of negotiating with bandits. No, Mr. Sheriff, you as an educated media practitioner, how does it sound to your hearing? What have you guys done? From the very first time, the so-called so Gumi, how did he know that bandit? How did he know the particular place they are? Who is asking him? Is he not supposed to be in detection for questioning? Where is the DSS? Where are you, media partition? Are you people not talking? Are you people not talking? The man is still walking the streets with, as he, as he with body, with body echo that he went to Safara. He went to talk to the bandits, and we all we are applauding him. Why are we so damn to this country? Why did we, why did we sit at the backside and allow all this form of media trap? Allow all this form of Low, I think, as the low form of ideology people leading us, and we all keep quiet. We all keep quiet. A Achimele, you, you know we're talking hey. right now. You are talking. I am talking. Everybody is talking. It's not. It's not enough. But it's the media you, that. You know, it's the media that brought you. A different arm of government. But I'm it's. I'm telling you guys to like talk. It's not. It's not in this form. Achimele. Achimele. Questioning. Achimele. Who who brought that conversation to the media? The media. The, this conversation that, you are having right now, who brought it up? Yes, it's you guys. But my point is that we but are we're, we're still not. To eyeball to eyeball. We are saying all these things. We're the still man not. To be questioned. Okay, I've heard you. Eh? The, the man is supposed to be questioned. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, well, you can't go on forever now. Uh, how about, uh, calm down now. Be calming down. Uh, Daniel is here. Daniel, hi. Sorry for holding you on the line for so long. All right. Um, mm. What I'm going to say is this. That man is a broker, and he has a brokerage fee on him. We want him to be proved. D Daniel, can you turn off your radio quickly before you go on? Thank you. Thank you. So he needs to be proved. Okay. That does it. He needs to be proved so that, you know, what they intend to do okay. will come to naught. Mm. You understand? Mm. So when, when, when you say when you say he's a broker, what 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 do you mean by that? Well, that is just a, a way of telling you that he is having a kind of link with the, the, the those who are bandits. Okay. Right. Okay. He's on a paid mission. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. He's on a paid. You, you don't you don't seem as a is it the same as a negotiator? Yes, yes, yes exactly. It's the same thing as a so negotiator. Yes, he has to something, you know, he will be paid for what he's doing. No, 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 Daniel, you're wrong. You're wrong. Not, not every negotiator gets paid. No, you're wrong on that one. Well, I know why you are talking the way you're talking. No, I, I, no, that's not why. The reason I'm talking the way I'm talking is to correct your f very fraught perception about a negotiator and who a negotiator is. You can decide to settle a dispute between two people. Does that mean that you're paid to do that? Let me speak to Kaede. Kaede, hi. Good morning to you. Hi, uh, good morning. Morning to you. My name is Kaede from Uganda. Let's talk, Kaede. Yeah, concerning this issue of this bandit, it's like okay. we need to take note of some statements. Why do they point out as in to what they want to do, that they want, they want government to do, the mm. kind of job they want. Mm. Why military uh, security uh, job? It's not that these people have evil agenda concerning mm. this nation. Mm. And Nigeria, I mean, our government needs to do something in that area. For me, oh, me I will not agree to negotiate with these people. Okay. okay. If they want to negotiate with them, not to uh, employ them to uh, our uh, security uh, uh, job. Okay. That is my own submission. All right, Cardi. Thank you for calling me. Appreciate it. Back to back, back and back of the biggest talk. It's just a general attitude to environmental laws. You know, mechanics, food sellers. One of the reasons why I believe you have uh, so much traffic is because the environmental laws are not enforced. The traffic laws are not enforced. And that has led to complete chaos in the States. On your number one station for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Morning Crossfire on 99.3 Nigeria Info. 
Okay, so it's been a morning of um, flaring emotions and uh, all that's expected. Uh, but I need to go and take um, some people that uh, can only communicate their emotions um, through uh, written words. So I'm, I'm here on WhatsApp right now to take a few messages on WhatsApp. Pastor Daniel is in Ikorudu. Pastor said, I support the government giving them jobs in the farm instead of the armed forces. Thanks, Pastor Daniel. Thank you too um, for your thought. Appreciate it. Let's take another one very quickly now. Um, okay. Uh, who is this? Who is this? This is a long one, though, eh? It's a long one. But I'll take uh, Prince T in Sule. Prince T says, There's nothing wrong with integrating the herdsmen bandits into the security apparatus. Uh, this is not a new concept at all. Most of our security formation do this when needed without the public ever knowing about it. Uh, did, we not de did we not do the same thing uh, to the militants in Niger Delta and the recent composition of Amoteco and other regional security outfit coming up? Also involved the integration of some criminal element uh, who has native and local intelligence. Nah, I, I, I think it's very, very wrong um, to call, you know, the Amotecons and uh, um, the militants criminal elements. I think I would take exceptions to that. But thank you, thank you, thank you for your thought, I appreciate it. Let's take another one. Um, Barista Femi Mikel um says uh, since getting through call is tough like the song you played talking no they solve anything the other angle i'm seeing this thing is that uh, some quarters are playing out a script which i see that they are flying a kite no matter how no matter our talking they will still go ahead uh, to do what they plan the boko haram they incorporated has it stopped their attacks no nobody no no uh those were actually repentant boko haram Hmm? The repentant Boko Haram. Um, and Gumi Man has experience. He, is he in diplomatic relations? How many negotiations had he pulled through from other regions and country? I, I don't have information um, to any information as regards that. Uh, let's take another message here. Ah, this studio is very cold. Though. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take this one here. Uh, this one says, um, I believe Sheikh Gumi has made a suggestion. It's now left for the wise and the um, elected to either make do or do without his idea. Priscilla is also here uh, on WhatsApp. Priscilla says, the Sheikh should know that we all need, uh, we all have needs. Agree to their terms and see a continued rise in different criminal groups. It will never end if the country refuses to take action now. Uh, Priscilla, thank you for your thought. Uh, Sonny says Sheikh Gumi uh, should be arrested for serious investigation uh, for saying FG should recruit criminals to the military. Um, Sonny, thank you. What if they drop? What if they lay down their arms and said we've we've repented? Oh yeah, put us into like we did for Boko Haram. Hmm? And Yola is in Lagos. And Yola says the Sheikh spoke with so much boldness, and it makes it difficult to determine if he was uh, merely a spokesperson. Uh, or those were his words. I say no to incorporation because uh, it will further deter our security system. Uh, and that's also from um, Eniola who sent that in on WhatsApp. Um, Grandma Princess is also here on WhatsApp. Grandma Princess says, now, wow, they claim these are foreign bandits. So after they tried everything to take over Nigeria by force, they failed. They now devise um, another means by recruiting criminals into the armed forces. So once in charge of the army, they use it to take over Nigeria because they alone will now have arms. Hmm. Nigeria, open your eyes. Oh, Grandma Princess, thank you for your thought. Ayodele Rotimi is also here on WhatsApp. Ayodele says, Our government is insensitive to the yearnings of productive youths. Entire um, youths' accounts were frozen for asking for better, but bandits can be incorporated. Mm -mm. Nobody is saying, government has not said that they want to incorporate any bandits. Kilo day. Ah, let's stop spinning things now. Okay, anyways, um, we have like uh, four more minutes to go and I have messages. Let's see if this caller is still here. If the caller is there, I will take the call. Otherwise, we'll have to do the rest of the show uh, on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Uchenna, are you, are you still here? I'm still here. Oh, that's Uchenna, I, I apologize yeah, for holding you. No, no problem. No, no problem. So, you see, so to be honest with you, in all sincerity, this people, group of people have messed this country up. Now, the guy that speak, that spoke to you, 
he spoke to every, he spoke my mind. Imagine the, the arrogancy. Imagine the, the the way a man of this man is telling the world the world that look Nigerians should be ready to be kidnapped because these people they form they want to use them. All this is happening because Southerners refuse to come to reality that these people are playing the script that they all, they wrote by themselves and they sat on it and they are playing it out. We are sitting on a keg of gunpowder, my brother. Hmm. Imagine the, the audacity, the stupidity and the wickedness in which this man spoke and tell the world that he's happy that Nigerians are being kidnapped. And now, how did he get to know these bandits and the government don't know them? Remember, this bandit once take selfie with the governor of the state. They took a selfie that I'm still having won, hmm. which I will show, to show my children in time to come. These are the kind of leaders who are you going to are you going to believe this leader? Hmm. How on earth do we end up with this kind of people who have no IQ, no ideology, dictating what goes on in Nigeria, destroying the country? There is no hope. There is so much hopelessness in the face of people you see on the street. That man that I thought has something upset, look. So something has to be done, and it has to stop with us. We are educated in the South, and the people that are, the same people that I said are not Nigerian, the same people you said, they are criminals, they are the ones that are coming in to destabilize the army. You know how information goes, or before you know it, they will retreat and leave all the, the new army that will be killed by the Boko Haram. Mm. Sometimes you see that they are the ones that will give information. They integrated themselves into the, our army. Everything is compromised. I, Nigeria is... is there is a trouble. Calm down. I, I wouldn't say that that is done because mm. I'm still here for now. But mm. I, I don't see future for this country. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. Ah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm going to get the full interview and then we'll, we'll play at least, you know, some minutes back so we can um, listen to the entire thing Sheikh Gumi said in that interview with Todd uh, on our Nigeria Info Abuja station. Um, yeah, we'll do that next week. We'll do that next week so we can listen to the entire interview even, even if you're not if, even if it's not the entire interview but at least we'll listen to a better part of the interview uh and um listen to everything they they discuss on that show mm. nigeria info fm is in abuja we are in port harcourt we are in lagos if you want to listen to all the nigerian info stations it's very possible all you need to do is just to download our mobile app uh nigeria info fm if you have um, an android phone you can get that from google play store uh, if you are using iPhone, you can get that from your app store on your mobile device. Let's see if we can give somebody 10,000 naira today. Thank you all for being a part of the discussion. It's not over yet. We still have a lot more in our uh, following shows. But let's give Do our you earn now. an income? Are you in need of funds for your child's school fees? Is your car or equipment old and needs a replacement? Do you need a loan for personal or business use? Whatever your business or personal need, Credit Veal has got you covered. Simply dial 0805-510-0010. You can also send us an email via info at creditveal.ng or log on to www.creditveal.ng. Credit Veal, financing you for a good life. Now let's play Just a Minute brought to you by Credit Veal. Uh, Just a Minute is a game show where we try and give out 10,000 there um, every day. Congratulations to those that won on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, today it's time to pick a winner. Um, for yesterday, the winner of Just a Minute yesterday, just so you know, is um, what's your name? Joshua, huh? or Daring Day Joshua. Yeah, you're the winner of Just a Minute yesterday. Uh, you will get your payment today. All right. But for today, let's see if we can give somebody 10,000 naira. All right. Um, let's play if you're ready. I am ready for Just a Minute for today. So keep dialing 0700 993 993 993. This is Just a Minute, Just a Minute on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Hello? Good morning to you. What's your name? Yeah, this is Kachi. Kachi, you need to turn off your radio. You're about to disqualify yourself right now. Yeah, I've turned it off. Kachi, what exactly is your name? Yeah, Adelia Kachi. Okay. Um, have you won Just a Minute before? No, I haven't. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started then. Uh, with just a minute, are you ready? Sixty seconds is all you've got to answer as many questions as possible. All right. Okay. Okay then, let's start. 
Let's start. This is just a minute. Kachi, what's the name of the game show you're about to play? Just a minute. Correct. Who hosts the show uh, Sunday, uh, Sunny Side, rather? Joyce. Joyce one. Oh, fantastic. Two questions correctly for you. Uh, who, what is the topic of the conversation this morning on the Morning Crossfire? Next question. Oh, okay. Tell me the anchor of Sunday Morning Show. Next question. Okay. You've got two questions. Remember, two questions correctly. All right. So I'm going to go. What is the address? Where is Nigeria in 4FM located? Next question. Name the stations that you can find on Nigeria Info's mobile app. Station that I can find on Nigeria Info mobile app. Yes. Nigeria Info Abuja, Nigeria Info Port Harcourt, and Lagos. Nigeria Info Lagos. Okay. Three questions correctly. Your time is up, though. Kachi, stay on the line. Hopefully, you will... Uh, you, I mean, hopefully, maybe, you could just be the winner. All right? Stay on the line. We'll get your details in a moment. Lagos, Nigeria. That is the show today. Thank you all for being a part of the morning crossfire. I'm Sheriff Quadri. I'll be on your radio again tomorrow at 5. In the meantime, let's keep talking. On social media, on Twitter, it's at Sheriff Quadri. On Instagram, it's at Sheriff Quadri. And on LinkedIn, it's at Sheriff Quadri. Hello at me. Let's talk. In the meantime, God bless you. God bless Nigeria. Daily Digest with Jimmy Disu is next. Good morning to you. Do you need to meet up your goals for the year? Then here's the good news. Goals are... 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.